Well, this video is just about some of the rulings um, in boxing that I feel is spoiling the sport. You know, it used to be the best of 15 rounds, three minute rounds, in a championship boxing match. They took that down to 12 rounds. Why they did that? Well, they're trying to make it less dangerous. You know, these people are just going to have uh, more strength now, which, which obviously they do. You know, you look at uh, the, the current champion, and he's huge. He's like a beast. You know, I think that's his uh, fight against Takam <coughs> a few months ago, which was just stopped. Um, I don't think Anthony Joshua is the best um, pound, pound for pound fighter in the world at the moment. This, of course, uh, happened just a couple of months ago as well. Mayweather and Conor McGregor. McGregor did quite well. I thought he needed a bit more training, uh, a couple of more weeks training. Um, Mayweather's very experienced in boxing, so he's even able to predict which round uh, McGregor would uh, start to fade away in, and he was absolutely right. I think he tried to place money on it. Money Mayweather, you know, so this is boxing is uh, it's gone down in my estimation. Um, you know, if you're a puncher and you know you're going at it for tens of millions of dollars, it's not just just a million dollars anymore. You're talking about a hundred million for fights like that, and uh, you know if you can't allow someone maybe to get knocked down uh, in, a, in a twelve round. You know, about I mean, they they're playing for a lot of money. It's danger money, if you want to call it that. But even the boxers themselves, you know, argue that it's you know stopped too soon, uh, most of the time. So, you know, they want a chance right up to the last round. Uh, you, they know they can probably knock out their opponent if they're they're just looking for that opening. And I think it's spoiling a lot of matches. Um, just stop too soon. This next uh, bout against uh, Parker is going to be very interesting. I think, uh, you know, for Parker to get a chance, he's got to up his work rate against uh, Anthony Joshua. Um, He's not been that impressive the past two or three fights. The big thing for them both is a unification. So, uh, so there, there's going to be another belt um, involved in this. But you got to look at that and say, yeah, Joshua's got to be the favourite in this fight. He's getting through fights, Anthony Joshua, without being totally outstanding, I think he's had a few early stoppages, you know, his opponents can be a bit aggrieved about that, but uh, you got to you got to go for Joshua getting through this bout against uh, Joseph Parker, he's really going to have to produce something uh, quite special, Joseph Parker, to beat Joshua, you know, he's going to have to um, up his work rate, as I said, um, use his jab a lot more, move a lot more around the ring, hopefully learn from the Huey Fury fight that he, some say that he, he lost in his last bout, but don't think Huey just did enough for damage uh, to Parker, but Joshua is going to be able to do some damage uh, unless he learns from the, his past few fights and ups the work rate, moves a lot more, and it keeps his chin in a little bit, and uh, well, anything's possible. Um, Joshua himself has got a few areas of weakness. I, you know, there's the strategies you can use against a, a giant like that, a beast like uh, Joshua. The strategies you can use to to wear him out, and then get him in the latter rounds, just as Mayweather did um, to Conor McGregor. But he's really going to have to use his his, his mind for this one, uh, Joseph Parker, and he's obviously got people like Tyson Fury and he's a corner, so he might he might be able to advise him. Uh, I even think probably the Klitschko fight was stopped a bit early against Joshua, but 
you know, for 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 that to be his last fight. No one expected, you know, that to be Klitschko's last fight. But, uh you know, I would have let it go. I think it was stopped just a little bit, a fraction, um, too early. But that's just a lot of people said that. But it's not taking away anything from Joshua. He did very well. He's done very well to come through a lot of fights. Um. In attributes here is his endurance. He does train hard. His obvious size and strength. Him his his best attributes, and he can box a little bit as well. So Parker, um, he's going to have to up his game. There's no doubt about it. He is a good puncher, quite an accurate puncher. Um, quite sure. Yeah, I don't think he'll ever be back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, the next fight for Wilder, he's tried to get Ortez. Ortez has been on and off with uh, banned substances. We don't know exactly what what these banned substances are, but you know I've watched Ortez, <coughs> and he's got a style very similar to Riddick Boa, I think. Um, he throws punches at will. He's he's good mover upper body movement you know if you watch some of the videos I've made about the fight predictions I've predicted them all correctly why is that you know I used to play golf golf is actually one of the most similar sports to boxing you might not think it but if you can think about the stance uh, the boxing stance it gives you like a Leverage for what's happening in your upper body, just like golf. Um, if you've got got a good stance. Your balance is very important in boxing and, and in golf as well. And also, um, well, there's a few other things I could say, but <laughs> but it's true. I mean, uh, if you've ever played golf and you've ever boxed, very 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 similar. So the next big fight. Ortez against Wilder. I think Wilder is the best fighter in the world at the moment. Uh, I mean, his record speaks for itself. 38 fights, 37 knockouts. I mean, come on. Come on. Let me. Ortez has actually done more rounds than Wilder. Uh, I like Wilder. I, I, I do think he's... I, I think he's capable of beating all the heavyweights out there. Maybe Tyson Fury may have something to say about, you know, about a few of these big fights. But right, right at this moment, I believe Wilder is the the man to beat. And obviously Joshua doesn't think he's ready. Ortez quite a good uh, record himself. You gotta love Wilder giving Ortez a chance. You know, Klitschko never gave uh, Ortez a chance, but. Wilder's get already tried to give him a chance. He's failed a drug test, so he's he's got a big heart and he wants to be proven the best fighter of his era, uh, you know. And I think he is. I think he is. It's going to take quite a lot um, to beat Wilder. It's going to take a lot to beat to beat Deontay Wilder, um, and I think a lot of these heavyweights. And this isn't. I I would say the fight against Ortez uh, is probably a bigger test than fighting Joshua. Uh, I actually rate Ortez as probably. I would say he's slightly more accurate in his punches. He's got power, and uh, I really rate him. You know the Cubans really know how to box. And uh, it's you know funny how Joshua doesn't give Ortez a chance, isn't it? So you know I think that this fight will be huge. It'll be a lot bigger than Joshua versus Parker. I think these are two more skilled um, boxers than than Joshua and Parker. That's my opinion. And I think the winner of this bout will go on to beat 
uh, the, the winner of Parker and Joshua. So that's my prediction. You're looking at the future heavyweight champion or you're looking at the interlinear undisputed heavyweight champion right there um, and Deontay Wilder. You know, Tyson knows that he's in no condition <clears throat> to face some of these uh, big heavyweights at the moment. He's going to have to take a couple of comeback fights. Um, he knows where he is, you know, and uh, but I believe he can come back after a year or two, maybe two years time down the line, if he's trains quite steady, you know. Not over trains, but just keeps keeps his hand down every every week. Gets down to the gym, gets down to the ring. I think that he can uh, get his old form back, and yeah, he's just gonna have to do it bit by bit and, and improve his diet. Made a few videos about eating unclean food. You know, pork is not going to help you keep your weight down. It's just just as simple as you know. So. He's going to have to cut out things like pork, bacon, it's the same thing. Very high fat content. Not good. I like his glasses there, i never seen that picture. <laughs> but uh, I, I quite fancy a, a pair of glasses like that. <laughs> but uh, he's got the skills. You know, he is fast and he's got the skills, Tyson Fury, to, to beat any heavyweight out there. So he, he just has to want it, desire it again. Um, just train steady and opportunities will come in the next couple of years I would say so 